Okay, so let's then go back to algebra. It's sort of unfortunate to move that screen back and forth. But, uh, since we talk about linearization at this point, algebraically we have to look at these first degree terms. And what is it that we see here? Well, the stuff we did for, well, previously. With this formula was we took this number, the value at the given point to the left, saying that the difference is equal or rather approximately equal, right, because I erased the, the, the rest of uh, series. So the difference is approximately equal to that. And then that difference makes sense as the change of the function. And that difference makes sense as the change of the variable x. That difference is simply the change of variable y. And the meaning of the whole formula is that the change of the function is approximately equal to the partial with respect to x times delta x plus the partial with respect to y times delta y. And then, of course, nobody wants to work with the approximate equality, nobody knows what it means. So, what people did with they introduced notations, and this is where differentials come into play. For independent variable, as before, we say that differential is the same thing as the change. No practical difference. So if you multiply that differential by the partial derivative at that point, and you multiply the change of y, differential of y, by the partial with respect to y, then this quantity is called the differential of f. So this equality is by definition. This is how you define that differential. Now the outcome of that is that this differential happens to be approximately equal to something interesting. To something you would probably want to know, the real change of f. So you shift this uncertainty, introducing this notation. And this is what you can effectively compute and work with. And that is what you are really interested in. And there is only this uncertainty about how close you are to what you want. And you can deal with that later by doing the second degree approximation and getting even closer. But the first step, the first approximation is df and just do it and see what happens. See what this. So that algebra is very, very similar to what we had before for a function of one variable. Now the geometry of that needs to be seen 